Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we left that one island all the way over here I believe. And then if I'm not mistaken did we do the one by um where was it? Did we do the one on Eris Beach? Is it Eris Beach? No. Uh, where is that? Is it right here? Yeah, it's like right here. Um, uh, Como Shoreline. I knew there was something. <clears throat> Which was this one. And then what else did... Let's see, I can't remember really um, what else we did. It's been a long day. I mean, not bad. It's just been long and hot because the weather's all messed up here. But no one cares about that. Anyways, um... Also in the last part, I believe we did this other shrine right here. I'm trying to remember what else did we do. We didn't go to Rito Village, I don't think. I know we went to Gerudo Town. And um, we got a new Scimitar of the Seven. If I can find it. And if cars just stop passing. Uh, yeah, right here. Scimitar of the Seven. Also got this. Actually, now that I think about it, we also did this shrine over here, if I'm not mistaken, at the Great Cliffs. Cause I think we were wandering around because I went to Gerudo Town, got the new scimitar, which I'll be depositing back at my house. Maybe it was this one. Regardless, it was one of these two. I'm pretty sure it was this. But anyways, I was going around and I was looking to see if I can get any hint for the Gerudo Highland so I can do the sub side quest of the eighth uh, heroine but I couldn't find anything and I lost my patience I then went to the Ridgeland Tower if I'm not mistaken after looking through the Kara Kara Bazaar uh, did the guy a favor and flew around and um, he gave me rupees I made 80 rupee profit and then I found this on my travels and in this part um, speaking a Ave of shrines there's one over there because <clears throat> uh which in god i was led to believe that there was a shrine that i actually missed <clears throat> by a friend when i told him that i was which in call it uh that i made my way to hyrule castle he said did you get the one that's outside of it i told him which one are you talking about there is none outside you flippin wiener and he said, no, there's one that's actually by the entrance, kind of. It's uh, right by the ruins, and that's the one he, I believe he's talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I warped ahead of time, that way you don't have to wait for it to load. I saw Sparkle, and there's a Guardian, I don't care. How many, how many damn arrows I got? I got 15, I am not afraid to use one. I also hear the Koroks, uh... Thing. Where is that little bastard? I saw the sparkle. At least, that, yep, see, there it is. You should probably go run now, because that thing is not friendly. There might be other stuff here, but I don't care right now. My objective is over there. Seriously, how did I miss that? Of all the times I've been over here, how did I miss it? It's a giant beacon of orange light. I do like gliding like that. I think it has the same as running speed. I like to think that anyways. Or like somewhere in the middle. Excuse me. Just gonna take all these chew jellies. I actually want to get that Lionel mask from Kilton and maybe his monster bridle and um, saddle. Just to add it to my collection, of course. See, I should probably kill some of these birds. I don't know yet.
You don't see me. Well, I could search it. Ancient screw. <clears throat> Actually, no, go ahead and shoot me. Because I want to use this. Not that I got anywhere, mind you, but still. I was about to say, you do not have aiming through the rocks. And now a real guardian got me. Well, he almost did. Anyways. We have the Katathchuki Shrine. If an enemy camp has multiple levels, each packed with monsters, consider using a paraglider to sneak your way to the top. Well, you would have to then back away and then glide somewhere where you would hope you'd be able to make it. <clears throat> Unless you have Revolve's Gale, then you can just cheat your way to the top. Okay, a minor test of strength. This shouldn't be too hard at all. I also got my uh, circlet on, so he ain't gonna do much damage, even with uh, his little eye blast. Ah, damn it. I wanted to dodge that. Not even gonna wait. It was minor. Then again, my bow, I believe, does like tons of damage too. Let's see, can I take that? Nope. Huh, my thought I heard something else. Let's see, what weapons do I have? I'm only keeping the Korok leaf because I might have to use it later. Oh yeah, and also I showed off how to use Octo Balloons on rafts because that's a thing. I still need to give Octo Balloons to some kid, but I can't remember where he was. I should have looked back at the footage. I think he's at Zora River, or Zora's Domain, which I'm probably going to hit in this part. Okay, that was 26. Let's see. <clears throat> Stronger than the Fire Blade. Uh, I mean, the Halberd's not all that great. I mean, this is stronger. And again, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. You should have given me a bow or something. I don't get many bows. They're all royal bows. But whatever. I also need to submit all these, uh... All these spirit orbs, although I don't have enough to really give out, but whatever. And we have a total of 74 shrines done. We're actually doing pretty good. We still have a ways to go, but I mean, we're past the halfway point, so that's something. I think at 90, we'll only have a quarter left. Yeah, at 90, we'll be three, uh, three fourths of the way there. One thing I want to do is I want to check the adventure log. Let's see. We can tell Impa about that thing. See, there's the ceremonial song. I don't know about the, let's see. Laruda taught you the Zora song of the champion ceremony. A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet of a, of a veiled falls sight. Your trial awaits its glowing bright. A scale of light. Wouldn't that be like a dragon scale but who knows then there's the ancient Rito song then a, let's see sign of the shadow that's Cass's uh, song and then a landscape of a stable the landscape painting hanging on the wall <clears throat> by the stables owner Ozunda who paints as a hobby you can make out details of the landscape such as a volcano and stable. Some of this seems familiar. Okay, so that one's the only one I really have to go on. Everything else I've already completed, more or less. So, what I'm going to do is... Actually, I am going to head over there. Oh, wait, that's right. Um, I want to head over here, too, because this is Lake Akala. 
I don't even think I've ever been here. No, I have, because this is where the Great Fairy Fountain is. And I don't remember that shrine all that well. But that's not why, because um, in Lake Akala, it's where that the um, home furnisher buddy's um, buddy, or, you know, his employee went because he got transferred over. They wanted to know how he was doing, and he walked through my body. So he's the closest of any person in this game that's gotten to me. <laughs> Except for all the spirit orbs that keep going in my chest. So maybe the monks are, but whatever. So we're going to go check on him. I think they're all worried, and if it's snowing, I'm going to start freezing. Yep. Never fails. Okay, it's not that cold, so I can keep at least some of this stuff on and still look fabulous. And this thing, I swear, I would push it off, but I can't. At least, I don't think I can. No, I can't. Or can I? Nope, I can't. Hmm. Alright, so Lake Akala is all down there. Wait. I could stop those, but not this. Whatever. This is where all that malice is. I call it malice. I think that's what it's called. Or just... It, I either call it malice or goo. Because that's what it is. It's gooey malice. Okay, so that's the Torn Wetlands, which might house a shrine. This is like a call, and I'm assuming the guy's over here. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's raining. Huh, and I see two guardians, like, right next to each other. It's a little hard to see, but if you look carefully, they're, like, right below me. And they are really close. Usually the guardians aren't that close unless they're turrets or uh, drone copters. Let's see, the reason I'm looking down the way I am is because um, I want to see if there's a glow of an orange shrine somewhere. Okay, I'm getting closer. There's so much rain though, I can't see a thing. Like in terms of a shrine. Hell, I can barely see the ground below me, but I made it to where I needed, where I wanted to go. Not where I needed to go, where I wanted. Alright. Terrytown. A new town? This guy got a statue. Huh. I see the house that's kind of similar to Hateno, and that must be the guy. He's just wearing a red shirt now. You should have been keeping the blue because that's what they were using. I hate that guy. Because that's what they were using in Ocarina of Time. I should really close the window, but like I said, it's really hot. For some reason. It's starting to cool down. So when it gets more consistently cool, at least, I'll... Um, I'll close it, so I'm sorry for all that noise. I wish I could edit it out, but I don't think I can. Man, I'm still on the first row. When am I going to get to the second? Or does it all just go across the top of the screen? Which, if that's the case, that's kind of annoying. I mean, there's enough room to go above the... The, um... The rune icon and, um below the first row, so, I mean, you know. Well, I didn't know this was a place. Let's see. Listening to the song, seeing if it sounds familiar. Not much of a town, though. Hey, buddy. Hey. We meet again. Who are you again? <laughs> I'm one of the Bolson Construction Contractors. The name's Hudson. I remember. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Smartass. What are you doing? Oh, well, what are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I call it Terrytown. Good idea. However, what's wrong? 
I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started we'll need houses for people to live in. Can't invite them until we have homes. Do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. How many bundles do I have? I know I've been using some. I think... Wait, I only used like one or two last time I remember. I got... I only need to cut down three trees. And there's two right here, so... I mean, you know. No biggie. It's smalls. And this axe works wonders. I know that that's not what its intended purpose is, but, you know... Screw those ancient Sheikah deities, and screw you who complain about it. Ugh. I should be using the environment more to my advantage in terms of combat, though. Because you can knock these down on enemies, if I remember correctly. I should have enough now, if my math is correct. I brought them. Excellent, can I have them? Nope. Bye. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> That's the best response. Can I have them? Nope, bye. <laughs> Why would you ask if you can have them? I mean, I told you I'd help out. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Man, he just doesn't have a lot of words, does he? That symbol on his act, his pickaxe, though. What is... Is that the Gerudo uh, symbol? Or not Gerudo, Goron. I think that's the Goron symbol. These boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. It'd really help if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength. Mm. Yeah, if we're talking about brute physical strength, and we are a Goron, would be my first choice. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in son. If you run into anyone who <clears throat> that fits with the, what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. All right, so we'll go ahead and... So what is it now? He asked you to find a Goron child. How, according to the Bolson construction hiring guidelines, you need to seek out a Goron whose name ends in Sun. Who do we know that ends in Sun? Because I was going to ask the the uh, Blood Goron brothers or whatever. The ones that like working out and stuff. I was going to see if they would uh, do it. But I don't know if they have... If their name ends in Sun. You know what I'm saying, Sun? Bah. Bah, I say. What's that? Are those bones? No, that. Oh, that's a little wreckage. I don't think I can. I, is it shallow enough? No, I don't think so. Well, I can. Okay, Man, this is weird. Uh, let's see. So, what I'm going to do is first off. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gear just so I don't burn to death. And then this for uh, for intimidation. <laughs> and we're gonna head over. I should check this out. I bet you anything there's a shrine like in the dead center of that. And then next we are going to hit Goron City, maybe. Actually, I want to hit the gut check rock. Because I might be right in thinking on that. Like, yeah, they're strong. They like working out. They like climbing. So I'll check them out first. But I think it's actually someone much simpler. <laughs> Man, I go through water like it's no one's business. I have like a large um, 
cup from Del Taco and I fill it. After I'm done with the soda, I fill it up with water and then I use that to drink that way. I'm not as loud when drinking it. I'm just drinking it through a straw. But I go through all of the water so fast. And where am I? Oh yeah, gut check rock. I'm like, where's Goron City? <laughs> uh, that's why I'm trying to get distracted by my own self. protection is now ready to roll. Daruk, you can't be hired. Your end does I mean, your name doesn't end in sun. Okay. I saw all these rocks right here, and I was thinking, oh, there's a Korok up here. Nope. Although I could... Up. Oh. Ha. I was like, wait a minute. So I was right. It's just you gotta find that one and place it right just like the others. And so your name is Beige. And then there's supposed to be like one at the bottom. There's another one somewhere, but I don't know where he is. Unless that's him down there. Oh, he's just... What's wrong with him? Cabetta. So sweaty, brother. You really are something else. Gotta try harder. A lot harder. And then your name. Man, it's like they're about to grit, like bite through their jaws. Your name is Heel. Or Heel. Heel. Ah. Whatever. Anyhow. Um. Uh, hmm. Sunshroom. Healing, uh. Springs. Gut check rock. Yeah, I know I'm here. About to sneeze. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. It's coming. It's, no, it's not. It's just shadow. It's coming. Nope. Nope. Wait. Wait. Ugh. I forgot I had bomb arrows on. Oh well. Oh, so close. Oh, I am sorry. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was not meant to happen and here we go. Ah, thanks, dumbass. Ugh, there we go. All right, and I was thinking about it. I think I'm gonna do it. Ugh. Just a. Hammer that point home. Ugh. Ugh. I'm waiting for the charge to build back up. Oh, he broke all that. Woo! Oh, okay, I can stop it. I was like, can I stop this? Yeah, if you just press B, you'll uh, stop. So that's nice. Oh, that's badly damaged. Uh, let's see. I got some free food. Seared steak is always lovely. Uh, I need a bomb. So let's go ahead and yep. throw that. Rupee's just falling it. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was a rupee. I'm like, why am I not picking it up? Because it's apples, you tard. So many of them. Now that time I heard a rupee somewhere. I think it's behind me. Let's see, roasted bass. There you are. Another roasted bass. Let's see. 
Ugh, there we go. Hylian Shroom, Arrow, Dragon Bone, Moblin Club. I need to go over and find where ooh, where um, the beginning Moblins are. That way I can go ahead and uh, get one from them. Oh no, whatever will I do without it? Uh, let's get this. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so with that, we actually have a rusty broadsword and an, and a stronger, uh, dang, a very strong boomerang. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss this one because this might be a weapon. It is not. How many do I have? Ten, finally. So I can at least go back to Goron. <laughs> Uh, uh, city and talk to that Gerudo who wants the want only rubies rubies okay what's this a rusty halberd Let's see I took quite a bit of damage there so I can go ahead and heal I think I have to soak in it. Let's just swim in this lovely, lovely water. Oh man, imagine how cold it is once you get out. That's gotta... Oof. But then again, this is extremely hot water, I think, so... Can't imagine it's too pleasant to get in, either. Well, what are you gonna do? It heals you at least. Heals all those little aches and pains and cuts. Come on, one more. There we go. Beats having to eat a meal. What's this? Oh, it's just a, like a lantern or something. I thought it was something else. Again, you never know. There's so much crap out in this world. But anyways, there's the Elden Flank. All right, let's head over to Goron City. Yeah. Nope. And we're looking for someone with their name ending in Sun because, you know, it's just not simple, is it? Then again, they don't have to be in Goron City, I don't think. Uh, cause there's like a whole bunch of other Gorons somewhere, but I don't know if they would be interested in taking the job because there's the two at Gerudo, um, town. There's the one at the Karakara Bazaar. There's one over in Zora's Domain. And Gorons get around. There's one by the stables, um, near Death Mountain. So, I mean, there's plenty of options. I should also be exploring this area. What the hell? Oh, I think it automatically exploded because of, uh, because it's so hot up here. Oh, I never killed one of you guys, so, I mean, you know, I'll take it, and I'll take your roasted thigh, which then I'll eat because, you know. And with that, we shall talk to the Gorons. I don't know if that's too hot to touch, but I'm not going to take the risk. Or maybe I will, because I'm dumb. Oh, well, I got the Bargo. Okay. I doubt I can get the Chief to help. Yeah, you're Bluto anyways. Here we go. Okay, yeah, because all you're gonna buy is rubies. I have no use for them. Let's see, if you still have 10 of those rubies, uh, screw you, I wanna sell my other things. Maybe she does keep changing and I'm just getting very unlucky. See, I doubt you would be at your tanko, but I want all your cane sugar. And then I 
want all your spices because I never bothered to try them. Let's see. Ice arrows and fire arrows. 20 for 3, so that's 60 for 3. And 60 for 3, so... I'll Aww. buy you. And I'm gonna pass on the rock salt. I already have plenty. Protein place. Your name is AG. I'm gonna stop falling from the sky. Those things were bad for business. <clears throat> they messed up the merchandise. Now I'm saved. You need something? Come back anytime. Let's see. Steak and rusted base. At least his stuff is fresh. Ah. Hey, it's the Hylian. I know Rudania had <clears throat> chilled out, but the temperature here is still burning hot. If you got too hot, try some good old fireproof elixir, okay? Speaking of, need some? No, I'm good. Ah. Well, don't come crying to me when you're on fire, fella. I got gear on, so, you know. I'm on my way home. What's with you? I'm a traveler. Hmm. Alright, Slurgo. Let's see, you run the inn. Let's see. Pile. Hey, Hylian, you came at a good time. Lately, the magpons have stopped running down. raining down. That means it's safe to start sightseeing again. Then there's also the the Gorons in the South Mines. Oh, hello. Yunobo. Hey. The boss said his back is all better, Goro. Oh, Erudania has stopped rampaging. I feel like... I can finally take it easy, Goro. Well, that doesn't mean you should. Is this your house? We are currently training at Gut Check Rock, north of Death Mountain. Come watch us. Okay, so this is where the brothers live. Well, uh, now I'm their brother. Someone was playing tic-tac-toe. Can I play? I want to play. Got helmets. I'm guessing this is the hint that they are over at Gut Check. It's like, oh, okay, then I guess I'm gonna find this Gut Check place, but I already did it. So, enough said. What I need to do is look for a specific Goron now, which I don't think I'm going to get over here. Hmm. I need some water. All right, so I'm gonna check the mines. I kind of doubt there's any in the mines. See, this is the thing with locating Gorons. There's so many. I mean, with Zoras, like they don't leave their plate, their domain too often. Like they're rarely around town or something, or outside like watery areas. Like they'll still be outside the domain or domain, dom the domain or dominion. Let's see. It, I believe it's Dominion in this game, but uh, I guess they could also. Let's see. Let me check. Is it Domain or Dominion, or does it even matter? It's Zora's Domain, but they'll sometimes call it Dominion. Doesn't matter. I believe it's the same thing. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But anyways, let's see. Then there's the one over by the northern mines, and I also need to check over there because there's like mine carts and stuff. Yeah, see your Boren, your Jengo, and your Few. Yeah. Grayson. Oh, you might actually work. <clears throat> Come on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are. I'm Grayson. I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and I dig day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. 
feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Oh, wow, perfect. There's a job out there for me that let me use my strength to make a difference. There is. Huh? There is. Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown. Never heard of it. What's the deal with the place? Hmm. Hmm. Akala. Terrytown. So there's somewhere out there that <clears throat> needs me. Hmm. Akala isn't too far from here. Alright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron is hot. Oh. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pallison and I are gonna head there right away. While I'm at it, oh, there's a Pallison. Pallison, we're gonna leave. Hmm? Huh. Well, that wasn't too hard, but now he's all alone. See from the ground up. Ooh, you have something. And you have a helmet. How's it going, buddy? Sure is hot around these parts, ain't it? Even at night, like you wouldn't believe. But those folks from Goron City, I'll tell ya. Sure are amazing, huh? Eating a hot pod, even in this heat. I'm on my way back from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers are quick. Say, <clears throat> you look pretty speedy. I bet you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll even give you some heat-resistant armor. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out of a jam by capturing me some fireproof lizards. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, well, all I need is your helmet. How many do I have on me? Because I assume I always have the material they want. Hightail lizards, hardy lizards. I have none. <laughs> I've seen the lizards in question. It's just I haven't really bothered to catch them. Oh, speaking of which, there you go. And there's another right there. And he faded. There's another. Will it respawn if I pick this back up? Nope. So yeah, just look under rocks. There's two right over there. In fact, what I want to do is waste food and just go up to them. Well, I got one, so that's all that matters to me. I mean, I can go ahead and complete this armor, so, I mean, you, no. Didn't mean to do that. Some rock salt and some amber. Nice. There's a rock over there I haven't opened, so there's most likely a lizard in there. And there's a lizard over by that torch. Ah, there we go. How many is that? Five. Look at that. Five already. And I got some flint. Because flint is always nice. And it's actually pretty hard to see if these lizards are around. I see one. I'm just going to use this stealth. I'm just going to use it. And there should be one over here. Some opal, flint, and rock salt. Let's see. Any more of these I can find? Anymore. I see another rock. That must mean that there's another one under here. Yep. And that's eight. So two more. And look at that. Speaking of. Oh, wow. Oh, hello there. And I missed all of them. How to fail at getting a, a lizard so easy. Oh, there's another one. And then there's this one right here. Let's just go ahead and make our way over here. Okay, so I don't have to run. I'm just making it harder on myself. So look at that. Ten fireproof lizards, all within a minute, most likely. Let's see. These Gorons are asleep. Is there any more? Because I just kind of want to have one. I mean, I have ten, but I want eleven. Because I like to just have one for myself. Just add it to my collection of crap. Any more? 
Any more. Come on. I mean, I probably passed one up, but I, mean, I wouldn't know that. What do you take me for? Oh, well. Anyways, uh, I think I actually missed my chance to get one right there. I'm, like, kind of half paying attention. Oh, there's one. Just going to jog my way. Ah, yeah, there we go. Any more? Before I actually reach him. Ooh, there's some ore. And there's another lizard. Thank you. Just going to use this the way it's not intended to be used. Now give me your helmet, good sir. Sure is hot. Well, the deal's a deal. Hand them over and I'll give you this heat-resistant armor. Here you go. Now, here, take it. I already have this. Hmm? Something the matter, buddy? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't for lending. It's too expensive for that. You can buy your own in Goron, say, to get a Goron. Ah. Sure you'd agree, buddy, that it's always handy to have some spare souvenirs on hand. If you come across by them for... You get my hand to some fireproof, there's some monster parts. I can make some fireproof elixirs to... Screw you, dude. You just gave me crap. I already bought this stuff. And I didn't see you on my way over. Then again, I didn't take the time to explore because I flew down, so that's partially my fault. Oh, well. Uh, I got what I needed, so I can head over to Hudson's Terrytown and see what else needs to be done. But I want to keep exploring. See what else I can find. That, uh, wait... Are you? Yep. How did I know that? I know you rocks all too well. That's how I know. And he's just going to keep burning me, so... Oh, that was not nice. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, you ain't gonna do nothing. Just gonna break this damn thing. All right. Gonna grab me these opals. And I need... Okay, that would burn up. Yeah, a lot. Well, not a lot. But uh, some of the stuff I have would burn up. I'm gonna use this. Oh no! What are you doing? At least you're not as stubborn as some of the other ones where they have the ore on their ass. Because those ones have been getting on my nerves lately. Oh man, two rubies. I could have used you a long time ago. Speaking of deposit ores. They're called deposits. I keep calling them ores, though. Keep mixing and matching. And there's uh, fire choo-choos. Didn't... Wasn't there somebody that needed, like, the fire, um... They need the fire jelly, or did I already do that one? Ha! Ah, in your face. Oh crap. And then you have a forked Lizalfos thing, and I've already done this stuff. And you're used to make my way over there, but I flew here because I'm smirt. Uh. I am smirt and dumb at the same time. It looks like something should be over there. And I think... Is that somebody? Or is that... No, it's just a torch. It looks like something should be there, but... Who knows? 
Let me just take a quick peek and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, teleport back to Terrytown, or at least near it. I see rocks and I see an Octorock. Alright. So nothing interesting over here. Unless... I don't know, this just feels too bare. Hmm. See, there's some bones. Granby River. Better than using Harambe. Oof, man, I just... Uh, I don't even know why I said that. Maybe it's because it rhymed a little bit. Whatever, I won't bring it up again. Anyways, let's head over here. And anything up here? No, just wait a minute. The Leviathan bones. Um, there is some in the Elden Province. This wouldn't count though. It is it in the Elden Canyon or just in the Elden area? Because there's the Elden Mountains, the Elden Flank, Deplin Badlands. It never really told me where it was, so you know. Unless these are it. I don't know. I had to get a better shot. Hmm. Some, some thing or someone up here. Nope, that's just a bird. Okay. Calm yourself. Oh, Korok. Yeah, that's like a skull. Oh crap. Ooh. Was I supposed to do that a different way? Because, you know. I think I was supposed to do that a different way, but I didn't even know I could, like, set my foot in the water. Whatever. Korok to Korok. And I'm going to fly my way through. I'm hoping to see another shrine at least. That's why I'm going over here. That way I can knock it out. Because I don't really like being in this area. Too many climbing areas and too hot. Like I don't really care too much for this armor. Or anything in this place. A little bit like the desert, only the thing I like about this over the desert is that I can run without having to have the need of a sand seal or sand boots. Now what is that? Is that just a steamy rock or what? Yeah, it's just steamy rock. Hmm. Like I said, I feel that like there's something over here. Well, there's a river of lava, but that was apparent. And there I go dipping my toes where they don't belong. I think this is like a passageway that would lead, yeah, lead you over to Goron Town. Roof protection. It's now ready to roll. Just like this bomb. Because it's going to roll. There we go. Let's see what I get. Ice arrows. Not too shabby. There's a time where it's like, oh my goodness, ice arrows. That's like the most awesome thing ever. And now it's just, eh, okay. Because <laughs> I've gotten so many and... Let's see. How many do I have? No. I have 57 of them. It's crazy. But anyways, yeah, I think this is the way to Goron Town, or like one of them. 
Yeah, I think this is, because down there, isn't that the mind? Yeah, did I just make like a complete circle around? I did. Oops. And then there's the abandoned thing, there's the Isle of Rabak. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick, so I'm gonna head over here again because I wanna see if there's a shrine or something. I mean, there's a mine cart, so I'm assuming there's something like around here I can tinker with. Wonder if the mine carts work on wind power. Either that or I'm probably gonna have to use stasis. I can't use, I know that the carts are magnetic, but um, I know that you also can't ride something with magnesis, otherwise you'd be able to fly wherever you wanted. You could literally take an iron crate and then fly it over to um, over to Ganon's um, room, if that were the case. Oh, come on. Alright, fine, we're gonna do this. Ass. Okay, so... The minecart, I believe, starts here. Oh, and there's another bird. Ostrich! Let me climb you. Wait, did that one fall in the lava? Aw, oh, poor guy. Oh well. Anyways, uh, actually no I can't because then it'll burn up, so I think stasis is my only option. Yeah, because see, can't work it if you're standing on uh, Like I said, otherwise you'd be able to just fly your way over to Ganon's room whenever you wanted. Along with any other mountain, pretty much defeating the purpose of climbing. Okay, I think that's the limit. It's actually pretty cool, I like it. Ah, oh, great. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Will it keep going? Or will it go back? Up oh, too far. I can just put you back on. Wait, is that it? It is. I knew that there was one somewhere around here. No, oh, come back. Come back. Damn it. Oh, well. Like I said, I can just put you on the track. What y'all do later? I see a little rock monster right here. Hello there. more um, shrines I do in the mountains, the better. Oh god, I just don't like climbing around here. I don't know why. It's like not too different from other places, and it's probably the best place to climb because I don't think any rain comes through here. Oh, but, uh, you know. I think I don't see you. Amber. 
flint and rock salt and topaz. That's new. Unless that was a rare one, I just wasn't paying attention. Hello, other Talus. I'm going to take care of you guys right now. I really do love how they kind of disintegrate. It's lovely. But yes, I believe you are another Talus. Because you molten rock things don't just stand up. You guys are usually melted to the ground. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? And get out of here. I don't got time for that. I don't got time for you. Ah. No! I don't have time for this. You better not push me off right now. Oh, come on. I was getting off. Like I said, no one's got time for this. Get your ass back down. Face plan. So I can climb your butt. And boom. <laughs> nope, Soggy didn't hear my call. Actually, I have an idea for a new horse. Because now that I'm starting to get a lot stronger in this game, I'm like thinking of taunting um, enemies with my whistle now. But I need to give my horse a dignified name. That way, it uh, that way it just matches uh, the text that appears. Because most likely, I'm going to keep leaving horses out. Let's see. Ooh, a sapphire. Hello. And what I'm going to do is just take care of you, and I'm going to take your cobble crusher. That's not the um, other one. That's the weaker version, actually. What the? Wait. Oh, that's a bird right next to it. You know, I've never thought of freezing animals, you know, like uh, these birds or um, deer or anything. Can you do that? I should try that. Not like, uh, wait, did I say burn? I meant freeze. If I didn't say freeze. If I didn't say freeze, I meant to say freeze. Can you freeze like animals, like uh, deer and the uh, goat, rams and bears and such? I imagine you could, and then you automatically get frozen meat. That'd be a nice attention to detail. Anyways. I want to imagine that, um... Hello there. Oh. Is this one, or is that just lava? I think that's just lava. Nope. I'm gonna let all your stuff burn. Yeah, that's just lava. Oh, that sucks. Like I said, at least I marked one, so there is one that I haven't gotten out here. I don't imagine there to be too many around. But we'll see. Okay. There's something over here. What the hell? Why are all these here? I guess to throw at them? Okay, I'll throw them at him. He's sucking in a large amount. That's why I think, like, okay, you just gotta throw it at him. I don't know what it's hinting at, though, and I just keep throwing this stuff into the... Just keep throwing it into the lava. Oh, he actually ate it. What the hell? Oh, crap. Wait, what the hell? Dude, he repaired it. What the hell? Yeah, this is rusty. Oh, I threw it too late. 
Let's see if he sucks it in, though. Yeah, he sucked it in. Oh, he just... No, he does repair. What the hell? He repairs this stuff. Dude, he is weird. So, they eat it. Oh, man, he's actually pretty good. So, he eats it. I can wait. Okay, fine. Be that way. So, he repairs weapons if, if they're rusty. So, that's why they're... Oh, I didn't throw this one at him. Just gotta be careful when he's throwing them back. Huh. I did not know that. That is actually a really nice detail. I don't want this, though. It's too weak. That's really cool. So the Octoroks actually repair rusty weaponry. I like that. So there is a purpose to them, or at least this one in particular, because it has huge suckage. Take that for whatever joke you want. Let's see. Take it out of context for all I care. I could care less. Ooh. Sapphire and an amber. Maybe when she starts buying sapphires, I can start selling her sapphires. Or, you know, if anybody needs any. Let's see. I'm running out of area to traverse, so... If there's a shrine, I'd like to know about it. God dang it, he's alerted. Oh, but that didn't help him. Oh. Didn't help you either. Sizzling trout. It's actually not hot over here. What the hell? Yeah, I just noticed. Oh, I must be just away from the volcano then or something. It's like, oh yeah, you're over here, so it's not hot. But nighttime has settled in now, and I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode. So. Man, there's a whole bunch of Octoroks over here. They must have a different name or something. Rock Octorok. It should just have a different spelling, in my opinion. Huh, it didn't register it. Now it did. Hmm. They have more explosive rocks, I'll say that much. Yeah, I don't think there's any over here, because otherwise I would have found it, and that's the closest thing to another shrine around here, so... I think I found what I needed to find, and sure as hell, it's on the Isle of Rabak, or Ra Ra bleh. So I'm probably going to do that, and then I'm going to end the episode. So let's go ahead and get to a vantage point where I can free fly. Oh no, not you. I just killed a whole bunch of Azalfos. I wanted to let that sink in. Along with a whole bunch of other monsters that I can't remember. But the Lizalfos, I used up all those ice arrows. Don't tell me it was for nothing. Oh, groan. Did I ever use the trolley to get over there? I don't think I did. Wait, what was that? Hmm, I hear something. Unless it's the temperature. No. I don't know. Anyways, this place is actually a lot farther than I thought. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I didn't take the trolleys. Oh, so I gotta go do that. Yeah, I went over here. And it was right after I beat the talus. Wait. Does this mean the talus is going to regenerate? Let's find out. You don't want to fight me. 
Let's see if that talus regenerates real quick. It'll only take a moment. Oh, man. Can't have my peace now, can I? Yeah. Now, let me get on my perch and wait. Man, it's like the end of the world's coming right there. Once again. You don't say anything different, do you? Not gonna give you the chance, though. I killed that thing, and it probably didn't matter because it's probably regenerated now. It does. The talus returns. All right. I'm fine with round two. It's like I'm alive again. And now I will have my revenge on thou. Oh no! Face plant. I'm just going to take you out. And then. Ugh. Gotta shape up, man. Ugh. Oh no! Frozen again, sort of, not really. Oh no, who could have foreseen this? All of this, it's so dreadful. Oh no! I'm going to face plant because I'm such a failure as a boss, even though I whooped him in my normal form in the beginning of this whole playthrough. Okay, jump off, jump off. You ass. Okay, that's what I get for mocking you. I'll take that. Now I'm ready. Oh no! Again. <laughs> oh man, you suck at your job, don't you, Talus? Igneo Talus, I should say. Graceful landing. Nailed it. How many rubies do I have now? I have four. Look at that, four rubies. Nice. All right, but like I said, I was going to go ahead and just die, please. Not gonna deal with you or any of your brethren. How many ice arrows do I have? 45, I have more than enough. Right in the nuds. See, I don't want the other thing. I don't even want this. This is too weak. Oh no, it burned up. It was such a well respected Goron weapon. That was completely terrible. It was horrible. Man, look at that. Just blazing through. And the cart reset over there, and I have this one now, so I'm not worried. All right. Now, if I could please get on. Oh, I actually could have used it to maneuver this area. Oh, well, I got this now, so. So yeah, you wanna keep that, that way you can use that as a throwaway. And then that's over there. I think it's actually going to lead me over there. There we go. Hello. Goodbye. Thank you, Urbosa. That should be enough right there. Perfect. Simply perfect. Shora Shrine. 
It's gonna be in our throwaway because it was the throwaway to just get here. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the uh, shrine person to actually just say, "Yeah, you figured it out," because that's a puzzle that's in that would be in these areas. I see what looks like water flowing into the lava for some reason. Nope, it's definitely not a throwaway shrine. Yeah, yeah, offer this trial. I'm already over my time. In fact, I should actually just end it here. Oh wait, I can't duck under there. But I don't think it's going to be that long. Of course, I've been wrong on many things. So this blue flame. Well, oh, there's a blue flame, and I'm assuming there's a torch in there I can use. Because, if I'm correct, I don't have a blue torch. Nope. So I'm just gonna leave this bare for now. And then one, oh, torch is right here. Okay. Got a bit of a start. Yeah, right there. Boom. Royal bow. Nice, I guess. And then just reset this all the way back. Yeah, I'm gonna complete this now I'm in the episode. I know it's a little over, but you know. You know how this goes. I thought there was like a cliffside there. I'm like, wait, what? Is the end of the shrine in there or? No, it's just water. I'm guessing the water is there and I'm burning myself to put it out and then have me try again. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I would say that I was clever enough. Okay. Let's see. Can I go under? No, I cannot. So I can only think to actually do it from here. Go on. Bum 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 It actually pushed me off. I didn't even think that would happen. Oh good for you, you dick. Let's see, what am I gonna do now? I can't walk under this and all that. And it won't let me use the uh, thing without it uh... yeah see it just puts it away all, all of a sudden I don't even know why I keep doing that go 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 up 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 Okay, so that's over there, and I'm guessing it's gonna come over here. Right? Please come back. Okay, now come over here. Right? It's just gonna stay over there. Oh, wait, I know what to do. I'm smart. Just gonna light this with blue flame. I'm really glad that they added this feature instead of having to shoot through the torch in order to do it. Clever. But I had already done this type of puzzle before, sort of, in uh, Va Meadow, I believe. Because you had to light your arrow on fire and... Was it Va Meadow or what? No, it was Va Rudania because there was a blue flame in that, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that, ooh, Jesus! <laughs> I'll admit, I 
got blindsided there. That's fine. I wonder if I needed that. That might have just been a death trap. And I will say that it worked. So congratulations. Let's see. Apparently I'm going to need that flame though. So let me go ahead and get rid of these pests over here. Use the flame sword. Because I know all of you are like one hit kills. See, you just watched as your friends died. And when you decided to finally fend for yourself, you just decided, oh yeah, I'm not going to do that. I bet if you didn't have any weapons, there would be weapons in here. A giant ancient core, so that's my prize, I believe. And I'm betting you're a weapon. Great flame blade. Figures. All right, oh, and there's a flame right there. I didn't think it was gonna come back up. That's why I'm like, I gotta go walk all the way over there. Okay, well, come back so I can get the flame. Now, go ahead and light this, and then next time on Purple Plays Legends of Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna be taking us back to Terrytown. Hopefully doing the last of what we need to do. Oh, wait. Why are there three flames here? And faucets? Huh. Okay, we're gonna play this game, huh? Thought so. Okay, so no, we are not done yet. I was about to, like, leave it at the end right there, but no, jeez, this is long. Okay, and... Ah, dang it. They aren't synced. At least I don't think... Nope, they are. They didn't seem synced. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, great. Now what? Man, this temple, I swear. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. Ugh, just use this. And then light it over there. Okay, this is actually a uh, slightly more difficult trial than I had imagined, so... Let's go ahead and move this over. It's not difficult, it's just long. Okay, so there's that. Freeze you. Good thing I got arrows. They just expect you to have arrows here. So let's bring you over here. I'm gonna kick you open because you don't deserve any better. Silver rupee, that's my prize. Oh. Oh, that's no fair. Oh, Jesus, I broke the torch. I didn't mean to break the damn torch. Crap. I thought I had a different weapon on me. Well, please don't tell me I have to redo the whole thing because I broke the torch. I didn't mean to break it. Please tell me there's a torch in here. Or somewhere around here. Torch? Please give me a torch. You give me ice. Well, actually, I don't technically need the torch, but it would help greatly. And there's another one over there. Battle Axe, Guardian Sword, Guardian Spear. Okay, so what are you? I'm finding all these chests all over the place. 
Some of them have relevance. You might be just the hidden one, though. But I want to say that the other one was my prize because it was a silver rupee and it was silver. Forest Dweller's Sword. You might actually work, actually. Thing is, I don't know. Hey, you do? Okay. Whew. Although, like I said, I could just use arrows and then carry the flame. Well, actually, no, I couldn't because it uh, dissipates after a while. I know what to do here. Ugh. Oh, that brings back memories. Although not with uh, the fire like that, but it does bring back memories to do a spiral attack that will allow me to, uh, or not a spiral attack, an all range, like all around attack that will light all the torches on fire. Didn't fire anybody? <laughs> Anyways, next time on Purple Plays Legends of Breath of the Wild. I really did like this uh, trial, it's probably my favorite by far. But next time, we'll go over to... Terry uh, town once more and see if we can help again with uh, the carpenter. I, I'm just gonna call him the carpenter. I think his name is Hudson though. And then hopefully we'll finally go over to Zora's domain again and do some side quests over there. Maybe some shrine quests as well and look for shrines. I don't know but I'm pretty much done for now at Death Mountain. And I'll see you guys next time.